Hello and welcome to WebDementors YouTube channel and you are watching Programming in Java series for beginners. So in this video we are going to see about the do while loop in Java. We have already seen about the theoretical explanation of do while loop in our loops in Java video. So if you have missed it, here it is again. Do while loop is similar to while loop but it executes at least once irrespective of the condition checks. So when you require something to be done once before continuing it in a loop, then do while loop is the right loop for you. So if you have a set of codes or a block of code, that you need to execute and what that value you want to check if it is within the condition and if it is within the condition then continue the loop again if it goes beyond the condition giving you false then come out of that loop so that is what do while loop does let's actually see the implementation of the do while loop in a program i'm going to use my eclipse ide for writing the program i'm going to create my class file named as do while loop so the basic difference between the while loop and the do while loop is that while loop may not run your block of code or a set of code within the loop even once. But do while loop will run it at least once. So if you want the particular code to be executed at least once, then you want to use do while loop and not the while loop. So I'm going to use public main, sorry, public static void main, the main method. So here again, I'm going to print out the numbers just like I did in the while loop video. So I'm going to use the integer i variable. So with the do while loop, I'm going to print from 10 to 20. So do system dot out dot print ln, and I'm going to print out the values. The number is Sorry about that. I and we're going to increment I value and we're going to finish it off with the while condition. So it's going to check if I is less than 20. So if it is I is less than 20, then it's going to print from 10 to 90, not 20. So if you want to print out 20 as well, then you have to use less than or equal to. So I'm going to actually execute this program in order to get the output I got the output it's going to print from 10 to 19 but it's pretty much similar to while loop why do I have to use it well the condition is checking for i less than 20 so what if I give 20 directly it's going to print out 20 alone it's going to print out once it's going to come out of the loop because the number is already not less than 20 so that's why you have to use do while loop so it's going to execute at least once before coming out of the loop so if you have used while loop instead then what would have happened is that it wouldn't have even executed this line of code even once so that is why you have to use do while loop so I'm just going to come back again I'm just going to use one for here so it's going to print out from 1 to 19 in here so this way you can also use minus minus in order to decrement the numbers and print a reverse of the numbers so I want to print it till 0 not 0 exactly just from 20 to 0 in a reverse order so it's going to print out 20 19 18 to 1 so this is how you do it so by way of learning various loops and other styles we are also learned addition of numbers printing the numbers from 1 to 20 or 1 to 30 and also printing the number in reverse order from 20 to 1. So by this way we will also learn different programs by using various other techniques. So keep following all the videos in order to learn various other tricks not just about various things in Java but also how to write a specific program as well. So that actually ends the program so that's going to be the end of this video as well. So thank you for watching this video. Hope uh, this video was useful. If you find this video useful, please hit the like button. Also share this video with your friends. Please subscribe to the channel. And if you have any comments or suggestions or feedbacks, please feel free to share it in the comment section of this video or on our Google Plus page, Facebook page or Twitter feed. And you can also contact me personally through the social links that I've provided in the description section of this video. Thank you for watching this video. Have a great day.